everyone, and welcome to your finals week. I know some of you are probably very excited that this week is here, and uh, I'm a little excited for you guys that it's here. It's been a very long 11 weeks, and you guys have been complete troopers through it all. Um, you guys have been doing great with homework and discussion boards. So as we kind of head into finals week, I want to let you know there's no real uh, new content or no new lesson this week. It's just kind of uh, demonstrating your knowledge and understanding the content covered in this course from weeks one through week 10. You'll have a practical final exam in your lab course, um, but you'll also have this written final exam here on the lecture course. So if you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. I want to talk about just a couple of other things as, the, as I finish up this final video. So the first thing that I like to kind of talk about with you guys is I have a short video and at the end of the video I always have one question and that question is, are you Ross? So let's see if you fit into the Ross category. where you're talking to friends or family or maybe you're talking to classmates or your lab teacher and you realize that you have the high squeaky voice, I want you to kind of come back off of that, kind of walk back off the ledge because I promise you, you don't need to be at the high squeaky stage of life, okay? Um, it's really not that bad finals week. Um, I think it gets a little bit more terrifying for students if you know that in uh, two weeks you're going to be heading into your uh, externship. It doesn't have to be. I think it just gets kind of overwhelming as you get more towards the end. But I want you guys to know that there is no reason to have the loud squeaky voice. There is no reason to be nervous or scared. You guys will be perfectly fine, I promise you, okay? Now, as this is finals week, I would love to tell you that the only homework you have is your final exam, um, but that is not the case you do still have a discussion board this week, and your discussion board is on patient compliance. So what you have is a situation where a patient comes into your clinic and she's experiencing some sight disturbances, she's got some constant thirst, and she's having fainting spells. So all of these are pretty significant um, situations that you wanna look at. Now, the doctor comes in and he examines her and they order what we call a glucose tolerance test. And I'm sure that you guys all know what that is as we've worked with some of these units before. And you have this certified medical assistant that's working with her. And this, the medical assistant is to give a special diet um, that she's to follow for three days preceding the test and instructions regarding how to fast before the test. So. You, give the, you, you go through that scenario, and the patient comes back to the clinic to have the test done, and they are asked if they follow the diet, which seems reasonable. We told them we wanted to follow a diet. Patient says that they did. You ask if the patient had anything for breakfast that morning or has eaten anything. And she says, no, but I had a cup of coffee. Um, I thought it was all right because I drank it black, and I can't start the day without my coffee, right? So, I mean, that's Many of us, I know I can't start my day without some caffeine. So after you read through the scenario, um, again, because you're probably going to want to do it, just not going off what I say here. So reading the scenario, there are three questions that you need to answer. So number one, should the medical assistant go ahead and perform the test? Why or why not? Please explain your answer to that. Second question is, how should the medical ass assistant emphasize the importance of following a diet, fasting, and test instructions. And the third and final question is, what can the medical assistant do to try to ensure the patient's cooperation? Okay, so those three questions need to be answered um, in your APA formatted uh, discussion board. Your initial discussion board will be due on Tuesday, September 12th by midnight. And you'll have a 
to reply to at least one classmate no later than Friday, September 15th. Now you'll notice that's a little bit different than the normal that we have. Normally you get until Saturday at midnight to complete a reply post, but as it is finals week, all final homework for this week is due on Friday, September 15th. That is when the course closes. So that means your discussion board, your reply, and your final exam all have to be completed no later, again, than Friday, September 15th. Now you also obviously have your written final exam. Your written final exam is 100 multiple choice questions, and you have a two hour or 120 minute time limit, okay? So you need to be able to plan ahead, give yourself plenty of time to sit and take the exam, don't try to rush through it. That will not help you. I promise that is not how you should take a test. And the best advice I can have for taking this final exam is two things. One, review your old quizzes that you've been taking in your lab course. Most, if not all of the questions have come from those prior quizzes. If you have questions about why you got an answer wrong or maybe what the correct answer is to something that you answered, Either make sure that you're reaching out to me or your lab instructor, and we can try to help you through that before you take your final exam. I would also suggest that you review the study guide I put up a couple weeks back. I believe it was module nine, and that will also help you kind of prep for your final exam. Again, that, that final exam is due no later than Friday, September 15th and you only get one attempt at that final exam. Whatever you get in the, on that exam gets then populated and calculated into your overall course grade. All right, so the only other thing I like to talk about at this point is something I like to do for all of my students, um, or at least I try to do with all of my students, and that is after all of your final work has been completed, all of your final work has been graded, I like to send an email to tell you what your final overall course grade was. The reason I like to do that is because we head right into finals week after this, and I don't want any of you to be questioning or worried or panicked that maybe you did or didn't pass. So I like to just shoot a quick email. I try to do it through Blackboard, but I also am going to try to do it through your personal emails and just say, hey, here's what your overall final grade was. Um, just so that way you don't have that fear over break weeks. All right, guys, that is really all I have for you. It has been a pleasure to be your online lecture instructor for the past 11 weeks, and hopefully you guys have gained some good knowledge out of this course. If you're heading into your I'm sorry, your externships, I wish you all the best of luck. If you are in one of those courses that you're now going into Clinical Skills 1, I wish you luck in that course as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or fears that you want to talk about before your exam, please make sure that you're reaching out to me either via phone um, at my direct line that you can find on the course homepage in the top right-hand corner, or shooting me an email through either course messaging in Blackboard or my personal Rasmussen email. I hope you all have a wonderful and happy and successful finals week. And after your finals are all done, I hope that you all have a fantastic two-week break. Bye, everybody.